the New York City Police Department, Fire Department, Sanitation and Department of Corrections has been told to cut overtime spending so they could, you guessed it, fund migrants. So while you have elevated levels of crime and a disenfranchised workforce, as well as recruiting issues because you've been demonizing them for years. Now, the remaining officers that are still there, ones that didn't get fired for not taking a mysterious potion, the consequences of Democrat policies are so obvious that you have to pretend to be stupid to not understand how these things come about. You make yourself a sanctuary city and invite these people over the border and say, come to New York. So then they go to New York. Then you demonize the police department and say that every one of them is a vicious for just doing their job so they arrest less people. Then you remove cash bail and allow people to just commit a crime and then get out on the street the next day because apparently cash bail is then when a citizen steps in, Daniel Penny, and tries to protect fellow citizens, well, you throw that guy in jail, or at least try to, smear him publicly, destroy his character, even though he's a veteran. Then when you make a plea and blame it on Biden in Texas and say that you're going to go bankrupt, you cut the exact services that are the most responsible for protecting the city from the garbage you're bringing into it. They're like, first responders, we appreciate you, but also no more overtime.